Hey, I'm Justin. Welcome back to Make, Build, Modify. Today, we're making a cordless tool storage station. I'm using some scrap lumber, an old 2x6 tongue and groove spruce, and some old plywood. The plywood is just over 49 inches, so I'm going to cut both of the members down to 49. Now to remove the tongue and groove from the 2x6. I'm setting the saw at 5 degrees. That's because the upper portion of this storage shelf will have a slight cant to it to hold the tools against the wall. Next, I'm cutting the plywood. I cut it about eight and a half inches or so. This is all just rough measurements. I'm cutting the same bevel on this plywood so that when they connect, it'll marry against the wall with no problem. You can see the bevel on both pieces of wood there. Here's how they'll sit and fasten together once they're assembled. I'm cutting several slots in this plywood to receive the tools, and I want the end to terminate with a curve. So I'm using a Forstner bit, and I'm marking a line here at three inches, and then the other direction every four inches, so I can use a two inch bit to cut those holes. I'm drilling from the top side. That's just in case there's blowout on the back side. It won't be as obvious there, but I am also following up with a router to clean up all the edges. You can imagine this is a great time saver rather than having to cut all of those curves with a bandsaw or some other tool. I'm going to use my sliding compound miter saw to cut the sides, so I'm marking up to the edge of each circle. You have to stop a little short of finishing the cut so that you don't run into the sides of the circle. You can finish that with a handsaw later. I'm using a quarter inch radius round over and I'm going to go over every edge of this front and back. I decided to round over the front facing corners of the support member also. It's important not to do too large of a radius, otherwise the smaller handled tools might slip through these gaps. The primary reason for a radius for me is to reduce the chance of splinters. Now I'm scribing a line to locate the screws so I can fasten the top to the support member. I divide it into four equal sections, so five screws.
I glued this together, but I don't think it's necessary. If you were in a hurry, you could just fasten this with screws and it would probably do just fine. This is one of my favorite tricks. Nail the thing together before you apply the screws. That way it's not slipping all over the place when you install the screws. Okay, it's put together. We're almost there. We just have to install it and hang up some tools. I have plywood on my walls so I can place screws wherever, but if you were using this with studs, you would just have to locate your studs and run the screws in there. I like this design because it's fast, it's easy, it's almost free, and it does the job. A simple problem should have a simple solution. No need to overcomplicate. I'll have the tools and materials listed in the description. And if you think I earned it, please subscribe.